welcome back to my channel as promised today is my uh, little red dress project um, this won't be a long video um, let me just jump right into it um, the little red dress project was hosted by uh, Renata of running in style and um, is it Rosabella of song Yes, I'll, I'll leave both of your video links down below. Um, enjoy both of their channels. So, let me jump right into what I chose. I chose the Cashmere Upton dress. Um, you know, this is my, if you follow me this year, or 2017, you know this is my second time doing this dress. Um, the first time I attempted the Upton, I did it for a, and I'll pop a picture up right here, for a gala, I extended the bottom of the skirt, um, the bottom of the dress, uh, I forget how many inches, but anyway, um, longer to where, to a gala I went to for work earlier in the year. And so this time, um, because I did trace off that pattern, I looked at the pattern pieces, I realized I totally traced off the wrong size and <laughs> it was, uh, a EF, um, a bus size and yeah I'm in the D's and so yeah I had I just retraced everything back off I cut the bust of a 24 the waist of a 26 and the hip of 28 I have my notes right here um, and so yeah I made sure all my darts were marked everything uh, was lined up I allowed the dress to drop for a day and I ended up cutting off two more inches off the bottom because it was just way too long. It was well past my knees. And I like, if I'm wearing dresses like this to be knee length or maybe just a little above or just a t tad bit for below. Um, and so this is it. If you saw my post on Instagram, I'm gonna tell you why this here is puckering. If you saw my pictures, and again, I will post them, or I've already posted them um, in the video, I was kind of standing like this. <laughs> and it was to, uh, yeah, this here. And I'm gonna talk about what this is. And I think, I thought I had fixed it all, but I probably did not, but I will. And I'll tell you what that is. Couple things that, um, did not I did not do this time around which is part of my 2018 goals I have to you guys get this shoulder there is some gaping in the back it's not I mean see there it is so so you can still see there is gaping in the back um it fits fine here and it fits all the way down and again you'll see um oh, i wish i had something to stand on but you'll see in the picture it fits fine all the way down i like it i have to do in the future and i will actually be taking jenny rushmore's the owner of cashmere pattern she has a craftsy class on full bust adjustments i will be taking that because obviously there are adjustments around the neck area that i need to do for my shoulder neck and back um and there was just a little bit of gaping here not much but yeah making those adjustments will definitely uh take care of that so i'm well aware of <laughs> the upper upper bodice area that um, needs the adjustments but i like it still um i made if you saw my lisbon cardigan video you know that i made the lisbon cardigan and i made it to go with this so just to wear over it um i can w dress it up or dress it down casually um and yeah so it works out perfect and so yeah i will definitely continue to wear it and as i continue to lose weight i'm glad i did redo the measurements because i'm losing inches and yeah the waist had to go down um the hips had to go down and so I did pockets on it. Let me pause and come back and show you the inside of the garment and why I have uh, this pulling right here. I will show you that, which I can easily fix. But let me show you, let me pause and I'll show you that. So the inside, I completely lined. This was a cotton fabric I found at Walmart like early last year. And, um, I was like, oh, that would be perfect lining. And it really did, it goes really well with it. The zipper is fine in there. So the reason there's that pulling, let me show you. Right here, 
So I call myself doing the, because you could either stitch in a ditch around the lining down, or you can do, do the slip stitching or hand stitching around. And it did not, I had pulled out the rest of it already, um, but I missed the part apparently. Here, I need to go ahead and pull all of this out. And what I'm going to do is just do, um, because I was, and the reason it was pulling is because I was come trying to make it meet this seam instead of up here. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is do the slip stitching or hand stitch, whatever you call it around the top one instead of the bottom because what it was doing is as I was forcing the lining to meet this bottom line it was or the bottom seam here waist seam it was pulling up and it was bunched it bunched up all around the outside and I really didn't notice it until I actually tried it on and so um, I don't know why that happened quite frankly I don't um or I might just do the sides because the back is fine where the zipper and everything is. So there's the zipper. Um, so yeah, that was my one thing. And then my pockets, did my pockets. So I was happy about that. The other thing was, oh, I did do bias binding around the bottom. And my goal was to do Hong Kong seams on the inside of this lining fabric but I didn't have enough of the lining fabric so I just serged the inside and did the uh, black bias binding at the bottom but I will be doing because I want to bust out my bind, um, my little um, bind, binder making kit and yeah I, did, I couldn't because I didn't have enough fabric but anyway let me show you from a distance it looks like my zipper meets right but it doesn't <laughs> the seams the bottom if you can tell the bottom seam doesn't meet and the reason is i realized this once i don't know at what point in the process i realized but it was too late to go back and fix when i was starting to sew the um the bodice to the uh skirt piece I went in too far. I think it calls for three eighths or something like that. And I started out with five eighths. Then I caught myself and switched it back to three eighths. But I don't know. You ever sew and then realize, wait a minute, how come you didn't go back and fix that? And I didn't. And then I just kept going and kept going. And when I put this together, I was like, why isn't my zipper lining up? And boom, right away, I realized because you started that seam, <laughs> sewing that seam on five eighths instead of three inches, three eighths of an inch. And so, yeah, that is the difference <laughs> why that is slightly off at the bottom. But other than that, um, as the year went on, I was do doing really well with my zippers. This is how the back looks. Um, yeah, could be a little better, but it, I mean, it's fine. It is absolutely fine. And yeah, so that... That is my dress. So that's all I got. Nothing left to say about the little red dress project. It was fun. I wanted to make sure I chose, and it's coming off true to color. It's not a real red, like um, candy apple red or anything like that. Because I don't wear those colors and I didn't want anything in my closet like that. I wanted something very, I don't mind the red family, your burgundies. Like this is a wine linen I got from Joanne Fabrics. Um, and so I wanted something that I can dress up if I wanted to, or just wear to work or wear to church, you know, interchange it a little bit. And so it still can wear in the summer. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to wear it in the summer. Cause like I said, um, uh, I think I mentioned before I'm, ha I'm making sure I'm doing my measurements and I had to take, go down in size for this. And so this probably more than likely won't fit me in the summer anyway. So it will either go on eBay <laughs> or um, I'll donate it. So one of the two. So that is all I have. Stay tuned. Tomorrow you will see my Simplicity Coat um, YouTube video. And then on Sunday will be my December makes. And then the following Wednesday will be my 
haul and my plans for January. And then I'll get into my lessons learned. I'll be answering your questions from um, the video where I asked for your Q and A. I did the, at the end of one of my videos, I asked if you had any questions. And so I'll be answering those also. So quite a few videos um, coming up. The slash and spread for M6886 is coming up. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit that bell. And yeah, we will see you um, tomorrow in my Simplicity Coat review video. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.